o'clock a.m. Um, the Annie's been up all night. Um, well, yeah, pretty much all night. She went to bed at about half past eight and then woke up at half past eleven, I believe it was, and she hasn't been back to sleep since. <laughs> so, yay. Not really. Um, yeah, we've, I've got a little bit of sleep. I put on a movie for her and she watched that. As soon as I turned it off, I went to go and put her to bed. She just wasn't interested. Um, so yeah, and I was laying down with her on a mattress and she just wouldn't keep still and just, yeah, nothing was working. So we probably should, I probably should have taken her for a drive a bit earlier, but I honestly don't know how that may have helped. Um, but I was planning to go to Springfield um, to take her for a swim and go for a walk since, you know, she's up and about and then I get to um, not far from home and she's falling asleep. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just driving around a bit now just to make sure that she's going to stay asleep and hopefully I can transfer her into her cot. Alright, ooh baby just hold tight, we're up at the moonlight, believe in the magic, on sight, we'll make it feel just right, just look at that bright light. Good morning guys, um, it's about 9 o'clock, um, so we had a bit of a rough, rough night. night last night, it's Sunday too by the way, um, we just yeah, bummed around yesterday, didn't do too much, so yes, um, so yes we're in the car again, but with a reason, um, Leon is not feeling very well at the moment, uh, so we are off to the doctor, um, I suspect uh, like an ear infection or something like that um, because she is not sleeping very well at all. Like She's had about probably maybe five hours in the past two days. Yeah, so she didn't sleep very well yesterday afternoon um, for her nap and last night she probably didn't sleep any more than probably an hour or two at the most yeah. and um, they kept waking up crying and um, and everything. Just so, feeling uncomfortable, I suppose. Yeah. And then this morning she woke up again crying, so I pulled her out of her um, out of her cot, and she was like um, touching like her ear and everything. So I'm assuming that's giving she her a bit of pain. Yeah. So. yeah, she may have an ear infection. So we're going to get her checked out um, and see what the doctor says. Hopefully we can get this sorted. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're home from the doctors. Um, doesn't look like there was a ear, um, ear infection for Leone, so that was good. Um, but he did say that she looks like she's getting a viral infection. Um, so just a bit of Panadol and um, rest and drinks and making sure she's all good. Um, so Ashley's over here. She's making some scrambled eggs. So the toaster's also just popped up. Um, I have some things that I've been wanting to try for a little while now. Um, is these brioche style hot, um, hot cross buns. They, they sound pretty good. Um, looking forward to those. Um, so I, I quite like the brioche style buns. So they should actually be pretty good um, with fruit and whatnot in them. So I'm going to cook them up for my breakfast and... That should be awesome. I'm going to share, share one with Leonie, I think. Who is over here with the iPad and watching some TV as well. She's all nice and comfy. Um, so she seems a, a lot happier, although she hasn't still hasn't had too much of a nap or anything like that. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to go out for a drive soon and get her to have a bit of a sleep in the car. Okay guys, we are feeling a lot better. We've had a nap, only had a nap, and she didn't wake up all whingy and not feeling very well, so that was awesome. Had quite a big nap actually, too. 
Well, it was a few hours, so that was nice. Yeah. Um, we all actually had a nap, which was great in the aircon because it's really, really hot. Um, but we are out and about at the moment. Where are we, baby? At Spice's Hidden Vale. I think it's at, what, Grandchester? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Um, I saw it on Facebook just randomly and I thought, let's go check this out. And it's so beautiful. It's like a little um, outback stay sort of thing I suppose like a farm they've, stay sort yeah of farm thing, stay but not really yeah um, where they've got 29 I think cottages cottages no we're not sponsored or anything by this um, we're, just a look. we're just having a look <laughs> and we thought we might show you guys too um, it's really really hot though today so yeah <laughs> we were a bit sweaty but um, yeah and what we've seen of it so far which isn't too much because we haven't been here very long it is really really nice we are loving the views everywhere here. <laughs> You've got views all around. So we made it to the pool area. Shame we didn't bring our swimmers. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really nice. We've been to look at the restaurant because that's where the reception is. Um, I wouldn't mind having a look at a few of the cottages, but I don't know if you can or not. So that might be something we can go and ask on our way back. But yeah, some little cottages are up here, or some of. The grounds are kept really nice. You can go on walking trails, um, bike trails, yeah. all sorts and of good stuff. All right, more stunning views. So we're just checking out this little place here, I would assume it's where they may do a breakfast or Maybe a wedding reception in there, but it's nice. And Oni keeps taking off her glasses. She's putting them on. <laughs> so yeah, I think we might have to come out here in the winter time, which will be pretty cold, but Dan loves fires. <laughs> so that's why he would want to. Um, there's a fire pit over there and stuff and, I don't know, it'd be nice to get some fresh air. Alrighty guys, so Leonie and I just got back from the shops. Um, we went and got her a few little things. I have touched down on this a little bit, um, quite a while ago. Um, I introduced Oni to the potty. I just wanted to see how she, what she thought of it, how she thought of it. Um, and back then she did use it a couple of times, but it was more so because I was seeing her face. Um, so I'm like, oh, she needs to go to the toilet, so I'd pop her on and then feel like if she needed to wee, well, that was more so a coincidence, really. Um, so I'd let her run around with no nappy on and then I'd sit her on the potty and then she would do a wee. So she didn't really take to it as such as like knowing, okay, this is where I've got to do potty, but um, she more so like just played around on it. She scooted around on it. Um, on her in her nappy in her clothes no nappy around the lounge room so it was more of a fun and games thing for her which I suppose in a way is a good thing at least she's not scared of it um, so sorry if I'm talking too fast um, but yeah at least she's not scared of it so I thought I would um, introduce her again to the potty now that she's older um, I want to try and see what she thinks of it now and if she's ready um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. So that's what we got at the shops. So this one's a really cool potty. It's actually a lot bigger than I was expecting. So we've got the lid here. It's actually a four in one. So you've got a stool to step up on. You can also put that part just on the floor itself and use that as a small step stool. And you've got the actual potty here. Now what I like about this potty is that it's got a cushioning seat where with the plastic cheap potty that I got um, beforehand I noticed when she did sit on it um, after a little while her legs would go red so this is nice and padded so hopefully it will do the trick now you can take this off and stick this on the actual um, normal toilet that you have in your house so that way she won't fall through Although now looking at it, that actually looks quite big, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> she might still fall through, <laughs> but that's for when she gets bigger anyway um, to sit on the toilet. But actually, I think her bum might fall through that too, so 
I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, so yeah, you can take this part off and stick it on the toilet. And then you've got this part, which is the where everything sort of goes. And it's great because you can be easier with two hands. Pull this out and just take this to dump whatever's in there into the toilet. And you don't need to take the whole big thing there. So I find that's really good. Then you don't need to take the big potty part to it and you don't need to wash everything all there. All you need to do is just wash this part here and probably the toilet seat as well, depending on how much mess she makes. But yeah, that's really cool. Come back here, you. I need to brush your teeth. Hi! I need to brush your teeth. Gonna get you. Ah. Good girl. Come on. Come on, you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm not gonna chase you anymore. Uh, uh, that wasn't even half a brush. Come over here, please. Can Daddy brush your teeth, please? Come here. We can brush your teeth. That's better. I just got the top to do. Only spit time. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky. Is it bedtime, baby? Get to bed? Yeah? Where's your bed? Where's your bed? Down that way, yeah. Good, Good girl. girl. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye. Oh, bye, light. Okay. Bye, light. We find that light too. Say bye bye to your playroom. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye, Emma. Oh, bye bye, Emma. Bye bye, Mum and Dad's room. A bit messy in there. Bye bye, front door. Bye bye, Mama's office. Bye bye, Dad's office. Bye bye bathroom. Bye bye toilet. Okay. Good night, Mama. Here's your pup pup. And here's your blanket in case you need it. Just put it down here. Can I have five? Good girl. Good night, Papa. Love you. Good night, baby. See you in the morning. Alright, guys. So, obviously, I've been at home for a while. It's like 8 o'clock. Um, we've had dinner. had an awesome spaghetti bolognese. One of my favourites that Ashley makes. Um, so, thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We're um, going to sit down again tonight watch some youtube um need to find a new show so lately we've been watching stranger things so we've watched both seasons last week um some of the reason why we didn't get too much sleep on saturday night was because we were watching stranger things <laughs> um didn't end up getting bed to bed until um what was it 1 1 30 something like that if you enjoyed watching our vlog um hit that subscribe button um the like button and also um, do a comment down below and we will see you next time bye guys